Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the UAE President and Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in which His Royal Highness expressed sincere condolences for the martyrdom of six Emirati servicemen in a vehicle collision while performing their national duty in operations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE. Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to bestow his mercy on their souls, make paradise their last abode, and grant patience and solace to their families. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also sent a cable of condolences to the UAE President and Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in which His Royal Highness expressed sincere condolences for the martyrdom of six Emirati servicemen in a vehicle collision while performing their national duty in operations. His Royal Highness underlined their role played by the United Arab Emirates within the Arab Coalition forces to support the legitimacy in Yemen, led by Saudi. Arabia to preserve Yemen's unity, sovereignty, and territorial integrity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a similar cable to UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness prayed the Almighty to bestow his mercy on their souls, make paradise their last abode, and grant patience and solace to their families. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the chairman of the Coordination, Implementation and Follow-up Committee member of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Al Ahmedan, and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, the President of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Abdullah Nas, and the Vice President of Amazon Web Service for the global public sector, Ms. Teresa Carlson and a number of officials. His Highness announced the launch of the FORAS program supervised by the Youth and Sports Affairs Ministry as one of the initiatives of the National Program for the Developments of the Youth and Sports Sector in Bahrain, Istijaba, by providing scholarship opportunities and training opportunities for Bahraini youth in many companies and institutions. On this occasion, His Highness said that the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa focus on providing training opportunities for Bahraini youth in various fields and developing people skills by building partnerships with institutions and companies. His Highness pointed out that the FARAS program is considered a first step and a distinct model in the region which seeks to provide training opportunities for Bahraini youth. His Highness added that the program alongside the vision of Bahrain of 2030 will provide young Bahrainis the space to prepare and receive proper training to enter the labor market. His Highness added that Amazon Web Services will be among the first companies to organize FARAS program and will add strength to the program. His Highness pointed out that the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry joining the program will be a qualitative addition and will open the door to provide great training opportunities for Bahraini youth, inviting Bahraini youth to interact with the program. His Highness congratulated the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding of Amazon entering the FARAS program which was signed by His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad and Ms. Teresa Carlson. His Highness congratulated the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding with Ministry of Labour and Social Development, Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, which was signed by Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad and Mr. Samir Abdullah Nas, where the Ministry of Labour and Social Development and Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry will provide training opportunities for young people by urging companies and institutions to enter in the program. For his part, the Minister of Labour and Social Development praised the launch of the programs and stressed the importance of launching such initiatives which constitute a qualitative addition to the training programs and qualifications of national cadres. For his part, Ahmed bin Tawfiq Al-Mu'ayyad pointed out that FARAS program represents a real confirmation of His Highness Sheikh Nasser's interest in providing maximum and optimal training degrees for Bahraini youth through grants and training opportunities in major companies. For 
for his part, Samir Abdullah Ahmed Nas said that the strategic partnership between the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs and the Ministry of Labour and Social Development will have a positive impact on the national economy. احنا بدينا نكتشف بعض التمارين وبعض الحلول اللي احنا نقدر كيف ان احنا نوصل الشاب والشابه لهذا الطموح وهذا الحلم اللي احنا نبغي نوصل له. فبجهود طبعا وزاره الشباب والرياضه واحنا نطلب ايضا من غرفه التجاره بتوفير يعني توفير ال ال كل ما احنا نطلبه من تعاون وكل ما نطلبه من فرص اعمال ومن من اسماء عشان نحل قضيه، وقضيتنا هي طبعا مو بكبيره ولله الحمد، البحرين مقارنه بدول كثيره بنسبه البطاله ترى ما ما فيها ترى نسبه بطاله كبيره. ولكن احنا هذه الفاصل لو كان عندنا صفر فاصل صفر صفر واحد بنشتغل على هذا الواحد الى ان يصبح صفر. هذا طموحنا. فاحنا عينا المشكلة وين؟ عينا النقص في الأعمال وزود على هذا لازم أن يكون عندنا نوع من العلم ونوع من التثقيف في التوظيف يعني صار عندنا طابع أن الشاب أو الشابة بعضهم كثير منهم يبغي يبتدي هناك ما يبغي يبتدي في يعني انزل مستوى ويبني روحه لان يبون الحين يختصرون يبقون الطريق السهل والسريع وكثير منكم عندكم امثله وبعضكم 
جزء من هالامثله الناجحين اللي تدرجتوا فما يمنع ان الواحد يجرب روحه وينافس واحنا نفتح له هذه البيئه ونخليه ينافس لان الاهم في نظامنا في مملكه البحرين يمكن لحد ما ما يدرك هالشيء لكن احنا ادركناه من الرياضه عن عن طريق القطاع الرياضي قد ما تعضي ترى بيك باختصار His Majesty the King's representative for charity work in youth affairs and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the President of the Olympic Committee of Spain, Alejandro Blanco, and the presence of members of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and the President of the Implementation and Follow-up Committee, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, as well as the General Secretary of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Mohammed Al Nasif, and the General Director of His Highness's Office, Abdullah Zain. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Nasser discussed with the Alejandro Blanco the ways in which cooperation between Bahrain and Spain can be further developed. His Highness affirmed the importance of Blanco's visit in establishing a foundation for constructive cooperation between the two countries in the field of sports. His Highness underlined the importance of establishing channels of communication between the two parties in order for them to consult the expertise of the other. His Highness praised the level of cooperation between the two countries and expressed hope that they will be developed further in the service of the aspirations of the youth. For his part, Blanco expressed appreciation for Bahrain's efforts in the field of sports, which have yielded a number of sporting achievements in international tournaments. Blanco also stressed on the importance of further developing the relationship between the two countries in the field of sports through the exchange of expertise and other mutually beneficial measures. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Spring Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Vice President of Amazon Web Services for the Worldwide Public Sector, Ms. Teresa Carlson, and the President of the Chairman of the Coordination, Implementation and Follow-up Committee member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad. During the meeting, His Highness stressed that Bahrain is attracting many international national companies and has become a regional headquarters for them, which reinforces the efforts exerted by His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and their keenness that Bahrain becomes an attraction for companies and international investments. He pointed out that Amazon Web Services Bahrain's data centers in the Middle East will contribute significantly to the overall growth process in the economic aspect and will enhance Bahrain's position in the areas of technology and cloud computing. His Highness praised Amazon joining the, For the FORAS program, which is supervised by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, and its keenness to support Bahraini youth by providing them with training opportunities in their offices in Bahrain. For her part, Theresa Carlson praised the interest of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in the work carried out by Amazon in Bahrain in the fields of technology and cloud computing, noting that Bahrain has become a national center in the Middle East and that this center will contribute to achieving many of the goals set by the company and strengthen its location in the area. Teresa Carlson expressed a delight to have Amazon Web Services become an integral part of Bahrain's national program for us and noted that Amazon will seek to work with its partners in the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to provide training opportunities for Bahraini youth. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, welcomed the victory of Hor Saali owned by Sheikh Daij bin Salman Al Khalifa in the downed extra race course in Britain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his congratulations to Sheikh Daij bin Salman Al Khalifa on this victory, which underlines the high status of the Bahraini for participation. His Highness pointed out that the victory gives a great impetus to continue to support Bahrain's participation abroad for more achievements in various international forums. The Horse Ali was placed first at the Downster Courses in Britain for a distance of a thousand meters. It was ridden by Frankie de Tory and trained by Simon Cressford.
Speaker of the Council of Representatives of Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal said that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has, during his prosperous era, laid the foundations for an integrated democratic system based on solid legal and legislative bases, which placed Bahrain among modern developed countries through the wise vision embedded in the Royal Reform Project that covers various sectors. She stressed that His Majesty the King's reform approach has put forward the solid basis for a democratic state as stipulated in the constitution, establish the state of law and establishments, and encourage strong popular participation being among the main pillars of democracy within open democratic practices aimed at achieving the Bahraini people's aspirations and ambitions. The speaker underlined the legislative branch's keenness to achieve the goals, values, and principles of democratic work and practices according to a constitutional and legal method through enacting legislation and making proposals and initiatives aimed at consolidating the principles of human rights and responsible freedom of opinion and expression in line with the provisions of Bahrain's constitution and based on the principles of the National Action Charter to implement His Majesty the King's directives in this regard. In a statement marking the International Day of Democracy celebrated worldwide every September 15th and which coincides with the issuance of the Universal Declaration on Democracy by the Inter-Parliamentary Union, the Speaker called for concerted regional and international efforts to further consolidate the international democratic and parliamentary work method to achieve the interests of countries and societies and meet people's aspirations. The Shura Council marked the International Day of Democracy by affirming that the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has laid the basis which made the Bahraini people an essential partner in building real and constructive democracy. It also stressed the Bahraini people's active contribution to achieving sustainable development and participating in the implementation in its programs. The Shura Council expressed utmost pride in the democratic achievements and continuous successes of Bahrain in the democratic and human rights field. It pointed out the government's tireless efforts to press ahead with more initiatives in their respect under the leadership of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Council also praised the Bahraini people's unwavering role in assuming the national responsibility on many occasions and bringing about democratic accomplishments. A draft law on rehabilitative justice has been issued in accordance to which center called Child Protection Center will be established under the Ministry of Social Development in which six other ministries will participate including the Ministries of Justice Interior, Health and Education. The draft law states that the center will work on programs that are designed to protect children against abuses and will carry out studies that deal with the topic. The draft law states that children who are subject to abuse by their caretaker may come under under the protection of the center which will offer a safe space for the child under the center's supervision.